Hello guys, I'm Patrick WWDC here, and today we are going to start the new Swift tutorials, and yeah, it's going to be very, very, very cool. So let's start with command line tool application. We are going to call it YouTube. It's going to be Swift. Let's proceed. Ah, uh, here is one with YouTube. I'm going to move it to trash, click create, and here we are, we click main.swift, and here is just print line, hello world, import foundation, let's start, so build has succeeded, <coughs> let's check the console, hello world, that's cool. So, what you could realize with this piece of code code is that there are no there are no no semicolons as before. Yeah, it's cool when you don't have to do all that. So, imports are just like import something. No problem. <clears throat> then variables. We have two ways to declare variables. There is let, let's say string, is equal to hello. I'm sorry for that. So, string is hello world, and we can print line string, and it should work just fine. But if we would copy this line again and change string is equal to something else, we would get an error because cannot assign let to value string. So it's because this is like static, not changeable. But that's why we have we we are as variable. Now we can still string add something to it or change it also, <coughs> and it will work just fine. And we didn't declare it as the string. We can do still uh, et. Just for you to not get something wrong here. It's working. And if we want, we can do string. And now, if we try to do with numbers. It's not gonna work. I feel it's not. <coughs> it's not going to work because this is string. But if we do this, it's still not going to work because what happens in this line of code is <coughs> you declare a variable and you assign hello world as a string to it. So it automatically because we want automatic everything so it automatically says oh it's string so this is string string et is string and you cannot assign i'm sorry for that string uh, uh, sorry sorry confused by my language creation so et is string yeah, string, and yeah, so that's basically it, variables, or we can do something like i as integer or integer like this, but that's basically it, so that's the end of this tutorial.
yeah this is just declaring variables i hope you enjoyed if you did please leave like subscribe comment down below what you want for me to do in the next tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial soon enough